President Bola Tinubu's recent signing of the Electricity Act Amendment Bill 2024 into law uh, marks a significant milestone in Nigeria's power sector. The bill, which received unanimous support in the House of Representatives and the Senate, is poised to address the development and environmental concerns of host communities by mandating power generating companies to allocate 5% of their actual annual operating expenditures for the development of the host community. The funds set aside for community development will be received, managed, and administered by the reputable trustee manager jointly appointed by the respective Jenko and their host community. Well, to discuss this, I'm joined by the executive director of the Association of Nigeria Electricity Distributors and spokesman for the discourse, Mr. Uh, a barrister, rather, a barrister, Sunday Auditor. Thank you for joining me. Good afternoon. And it's good to have you on the program. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you very much. Yeah, so this legislation perhaps is a turning point in community development, if you allow me to put it that way, uh, as they will henceforth enjoy 5% funding of the operating expenditure of the Jenkos. What's your understanding of this uh, act? Okay, let me start by talking about the very good thing about the Act. Uh, number one, it is very good to note that the Act um, laid significant emphasis on improving sectoral performance. And of course, there is that evolution of authority to states, so the states can pass legislation on generation, transmission, and distribution. Again, uh, more, you know, a little bit of energy is coming. That is, as time goes on, we'll be developing to a level where we'll be generating electricity from more sources other than the current hydro and gas-fired um, generation of electricity. And of course, it will bring more competition. These are all welcome ideas. But when you talk about the five percent, uh, my understanding is the five percent is. 5% of revenues accrues, 5% of revenue, not 5% of profit. And that on its own is a problem. And we need to understand this and uh, look at it in a very pragmatic way. Uh, I'm not a spokesman for the Jenkos, but the truth of the matter is that we have to look at their situation and what can affect their operations. Too. Yeah, it is good to give host communities some sort of incentive or things that has to do with um, what the impact will be on them. I'm aware, of course, that the Genkos have been involved in several corporate social responsibilities all over the country where they operate. So that has been known uh, for long. But this uh, 5% of revenues, so what, uh, what we're saying now is that all the uh, revenues are accrued to them, 5% five, five of it has to be set aside for the host communities. I'm afraid this may end on being a person because somebody has to pick the cost. Because we are talking about their cost of doing business. And we're also talking about encouraging people to come into the country to generate electricity. So in all of this, and I don't want to go too technical. All I'm saying is that in all of this, we have to look at the cost of doing this business. And nonetheless, we also have to, nevertheless, we have to also think about the fact that they already pay various taxes at all levels, both states and federal. But having this um, thing, I think this 5% issue has to go back to our regulator, NEC. And unless they can make a provision for it, that may be an issue. So that is my own opinion um, on this issue of 5%. So the summary is that we should all agree that it may have to be a person to the end users because somebody has to pay for it. Um, it's yeah. not, they are not being asked to give, to bring 5% of their profit. That's not what they're asking them to do. They are saying that all income, everything that comes to them the for profit, part of their operating expenditure and everything, 5% of, of it has to go to the host communities. And there's a need to also define 
uh, when we talk about host communities, and I'll give an example. If you talk about uh, Edmi power plant in Ikorudu, for instance, the host community is Ikorudu, but there are other adjoining communities that are also affected by the operation of that power plant. These are the things that I think maybe as time goes on, we'll be able to develop it and there will be more clarity. But the most important thing that Nigerians want is electricity. If we can give them the service they require, how and the frequency of its sufficiency of that service, and they are ready to pay for it, and we are not having this uh, very uh, huge energy theft in our system, I think all these issues, about 5%, will be it will still be a good thing for, for the country. That's my take. Mm. The statement clearly talks about um, operating expenditure, you know, for the development. That's the statement released by the, uh, the spokesman of President, Mr. Jury Ingelale, saying that um, the actual annual operating expenditure should be, you know, earmarked for the development of this community. But when you say revenue, annual revenue accrue, um, is that the difference here? Okay. In the power sector, we are a very heavily regulated industry. So whether you are talking about operating expenses, which is called OPEX, or capital expenditure, which is called CAPEX, these two are allowed in the tariff. So when the regulators sit down to look at the cost of production, the cost of doing this business, they then do the calculation of what your operating expenses should be, they take that into consideration. They look at the capital expenditure, the investment that are required in the system. They put all of that into consideration. And then they look at the economic indices, Forex, foreign exchange. They look at the uh, interest rates and all those things. That is how they come about the name and the amount of tariff to be paid by the user. So what we're now saying is that when you talk about this 5%, that means you have, they have to make provision for that 5% when they are calculating the operating expenses that are allowable by the uh, generation companies. So in our sector, we don't just uh, expend. Everything has to be approved by a regulator. It has to be allowed under the tariff structure. So what that means is that the moment my cost increases, the tariff will go up. That's the point I'm making, sir. Mm. I want us to touch, you, uh, touch on a few things before I let you go, uh, Barista. So what are the concerns or reservations expressed by some stakeholders? I know you spoke earlier um, how this will impact perhaps on operational costs and maybe um, how this may likely impact on the Genco's operations uh, going forward. So speak to us more. Are there some reservations you're getting already? Oh, yes, across the board. The point I'm making, which is obvious, is that as we are going about these policies, plans for better Nigeria, more electricity in Nigeria, we must remember the major issue, cost. Remember, the cost of doing any business anywhere in the world, and any business for that matter, is cost recovery. You want to invest money, put it into a business, and regulation that is coming into the sector must take into account the issue of cost recovery. So if I'm doing, if, I'm, if I have a bakery and I, 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 I bake bread for sale, for me as a baker, I have my cost. I have to get flour and all other ingredients that are required for me to bake bread. And for the people that are the retailers of bread, we have to transport the, the, the bread from the point of production to that point. So when the retailer is looking at the cost, she's also looking at, he or she is also looking at how much is a loaf of bread from the bakery, then what will be the top up? So all of this revolves around the same issue of cost recovery. So as we fix anything, 
any percentage, we should just remember that it has to be a, it has to be a pass through to still go all the way down to the end user. That's the point I'm making. Every time we are talking about, oh, you have to do this, you have to do that, for all the investment that we do in the power sector, there must be cost recovery by the businessman, by the investor. So the generation companies are not, uh, they are not Father Christmas. They right. are also expected to be able to recover their cost. That's, that's just what it is. Mm. Perhaps it's a conversation that will continue. Um, perhaps the federal government will have to go back to the drawing board and see how these uh, will, will uh, everybody will be carried along. But um, that being said, this is now a law. So perhaps we should focus more on how the host community can benefit from these um, the conversations around implementation and how the 5% allocation will translate into meaningful development for the host community. How do you suppose the host communities uh, be involved in the decision-making process regarding um, th this project, uh, I, I said? And then, of course, let's also look at if you had to make some recommendations, what areas of developmental needs for these host communities that this act needs to address? You know, I mentioned the fact that the generation companies have already been doing corporate social responsibilities all over the country. I mentioned the fact that they have been doing that over the years since privatization. And I'm saying that whatever uh, other additional obligation that you push to these private companies, we must bear in mind the issue of cost. So it is the cost that determines what the tariff will be. So for the communities, yes, I agree that we should take care of the communities where these companies are located, but we should also differentiate between a power plant and some other companies that have greater environmental impact. A power plant is just like, it's just like when you have a generation uh, generating uh, set in your house. Yes, there's no pollution, but in terms of what is a bit of the emission, looking at today's technology, it is not really as bad or as terrible as some other industry like oil, oil, oil companies, for instance. So we shouldn't be comparing the power plants or power sector with the oil sector. So in terms of environmental impact, and that is why the Federal Ministry of Environment is always fully involved before any power plant starts. They do the env environmental uh, impact assessment. They go through some processes to ensure that uh, whatever negative uh, environmental impact that is there is curtailed. So these are the things that uh, people just need to um, understand. But at the end of the day, we all need to have uh, something for the community to ensure that we improve our relation with the communities. Mm. Oh, 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 all right. Um, just a few seconds before I let you go, talk to us about, uh, although it's not clearly stated, who ultimately you know, decide um, how a project or what project to invest on. But again, I, I would like to ask you, so what kind of relationship do you think the host community and, of course, the operating uh, plant or will I say company within that host community, what kind of relationship should exist between them? Uh, I think we need to look at that before I let you go. Okay. I can say for a fact, even though I'm not a member of a Genko, I can say for a fact that the Genkos also realize and they take very seriously the harmonious relationship that have to exist between them and the host communities. Uh, if you, if you, even if you go on the internet, you see what some of them have done. Like me. I remember only recently did a lot of things for the communities around the Kurudu where they operate. Because for me, oh, if you come and establish a factory in my village, uh, in Abelguta, you can only enjoy your time or your teen tenure in that community if you are in good, uh, if you have good relationship with us. You don't come and think we are nobody, and then you think you will enjoy your time in a land. But if you, if, you are, if you are good, of course. And being good does not mean sharing money. Being good does not mean 
giving some it is just right. about development okay for instance you have a factory in my community start the road now do something right. that will even ease your own business and as well give us comfort in the community and the jenkos have been doing pretty that in the past mm. I think a good place to leave you. Thank you so much for your time. Executive Director of the Association of Nigerian Electricity Distributors and Spokesman for the Discord, Barita Sunday Auditor. Thank you for coming on Business Nigeria.